Hey divers, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. So I just got done unloading the prawn suit, reorganizing some of the stuff a little bit. Not a whole bunch, just made a new locker for, I think, diamonds or for rubies, one of the two, because I just had too much in the diamond slash ruby slash quartz uh, box, so I made a new one. I'm going to sleep for the night because it's really dark out right now in game and it's kind of spooky. I'm going to sleep for the night and then we're going to be heading out in the morning towards the uh, the thermal thing that we saw that was near Leviathan, so that should be interesting. Oh, look, I, I made a window over here. We can just literally see the wall. It's like one of those really cheap, crappy apartments where you look out and it's literally just the wall over here. It's great. That's great. Yeah, we'll sleep for the night. What happens as you are sleeping? I was being pulled from a logical world to a logical world, with you at the center of them. I was dreaming. The brain processes in mysterious ways when you sleep. Does it serve a purpose? It was such disorienting and fragmented thought. Random images and sensations. No one is completely sure what it does. There are theories, but every human dreams. Many other mammals, too. Is it enjoyable? We can be. We can experience impossible joy, and also impossible terror in our dreams. Sometimes I can fly. Sometimes I call out to Sam and can't reach her. Sometimes I'm in my underwear, defending my doctoral thesis. It's a mixed bag. Your biofeedback indicates that flying is the most enjoyable dream. I therefore hope you have many more of those, mainly for my own safety. All right, so let's uh, let's take off over here. The the big um, yeah, the big the big old thing that was over here, the big garden thing. Maybe I can actually find it in here. Data bank. Um, it'd be under fauna, I think. Maybe. Let's see here. Or not not fauna, flora. I don't actually see it here. I'm pretty sure I scanned it. I don't know what, where, where it is, though, or where it is. Um, it was over... Go to 300 depth now. It was out over past the... Um, like, in the deeper area past the mining site, though, right? That's where I saw it before, I think. I think if we just go out this way into the deeper ocean over here, we'll run into it again, most likely. Okay, yeah, there, these guys are over here. There's a bunch of these guys, and then if you go eventually around here somewhere, they look so cool. They look so cool. Um, there was the bigger one. Even make a cool sound, too. Just have to keep in mind that we can't go super fast with this stuff on here. Like, the more stuff you add to this thing, the slower you go, unfortunately. And, um... To be honest, I probably shouldn't have all this stuff on it while I'm out here would be a lot better to just have the bare minimum so we can go fast if we need to. I don't think it was that deep, actually. You're just one of those guys. You guys are fine. Gosh, I wish I could remember exactly where it was. I think I might actually go ahead and ditch my um, other parts here. How far away are we from the base? Yeah, we're a decent ways away. I don't want to make it like somewhere too crazy. I should have just left it back at the base. Okay, 
I'll just I'll just drop it off over here towards the surface. Y'all are just big alligator guys, right? Yeah, it's just one of you. Okay. I'm going to detach so that we have... Um, there we go. So we're more speedy and agile and we can go a lot faster. This, I'm pretty sure it's faster. I don't know. Might not be. But I was pretty sure it was faster. That's a really deep one over there. Okay. Um, was that you or was that somebody else? Didn't really sound like you. Kind of sound like somebody else. No, that sounds like somebody else is over here. Maybe it is you. And maybe it's just a weird biting sound they're making. Ooh. This is new. I can see a little bit better down here too now. Oh, that's a big boy. Or what is this? I want to scan it real quick. Tree spire. Can I get a sample? Looks like no. That is the big boy. He's up there. I think he hasn't really noticed us, though, so maybe we're okay. It's the freaky music. Mm, no, maybe he has seen us. I don't know. I don't know how fast he is. I wonder if we can outrun him in the sea truck. Probably not. Not with our current speed. I want to scan this, too. Are you following me? Or are you just kind of patrolling over there? I think he's just patrolling over there. This music is slightly less scary. Okay, you're just a brute shark. I'm okay with you. Big old chunks of stuff here. Reaper's wine glass. Can't do anything with that. Okay. Tornado plates. I think even more so in Below Zero, they really upped their, um, their flora game. Like, it just looks really cool, you know? Just generally looks really, really cool. Is this just limestone chunk? Oh, I thought I was in the prawn suit for a second, and I was like, why can't I right-click and left-click? And I was like, you you derp, you're, you're not in the prawn suit, you're... Okay, there's some lithium over here, too. I'm gonna get the lithium real quick. I am... I am almost out of lithium, so... I'm gonna hop out over here real quick and... Have a quick look, see around to see if there's any more. Possibly some lead there. That may have just been the odd lithium that you find now and then. None. No other lithium around here, it looks like. Just that one random one. These look so cool. I really feel like I should be able to take a sample and grow some at home, but they're not, I guess we're not used for anything, so. All right. Fair enough. Ooh, this is new too. Blooming raindrops. Again, don't know what that is. Don't, don't seem to care either, I guess, because not usable for anything. All right, that seems to be about it over here. I guess we'll go back and go a bit deeper and further out. 
Where are we in relation to our... Okay, we're 200 meters away from that. We're 700 away from our main base. This is a... Alright, that was definitely not... That was definitely not... Um, a crypto succus. That was... Which is the alligator guys. That was definitely a, the big boy. He doesn't scare me as much for some reason, like, as the Reaper Leviathan. Something about the Reaper Leviathan just... He's by far the scariest of all of them. Yeah, he, there he is up there. He doesn't seem to be able to go down very well. Is this the big one over here? That I wanted to look at earlier? Yeah, this is the big one over here. We gotta look at this thing. I mean, the question would be, like... Oh, there's another one over there, isn't there? Eh. Eh. I'm assuming I can't, like, go inside of here? Can I go inside of here? Oh, that's a brute shark he's, he's going after. Yep, keep yourself busy there with the brute shark. That's fine. I really don't want to get out here, but... Vent Garden. Oh god, it's a big freaking long scan that it takes forever to do. Can I go inside? No. What? What about... Oh god. Can you go inside of here? Is this a really bad idea? Oh god, that's that's terrifying in all kinds of ways. Um What about on top? Can you go in from the top? Like, are there resources in there that I need? Do I need to go in there? Oh god, this guy's right up here. I don't really want to go over there. Okay, no, I don't think I can go in there. There is no good reason for me to be outside of my sea truck right now. That's what I'm getting from this. Alright, he's still up there. Alright, let me look at this vent garden here real quick. Um see. I don't see it here, so maybe it's not a fauna, maybe it's- or maybe it's not a flora, maybe it's a fauna. Uh, Leviathan's Vent Garden, here we go. The Vent Garden is a stationary leviathan that anchors itself above thermal vents and houses aquatic flora inside its bell-shaped interior. Anchoring tentacles. Six, six tentacles uh, anchor the Vent Garden to the seafloor around vents. Each tentacle is capped by a set of thick curved hooks that grow downwards, keeping the Vent Garden firmly in place. Transparent bell. The hollow bell of the vent garden has a narrow opening large enough to accommodate human entry. Okay, so yes, I could get in there. The hollow bell has a narrow opening large, so the bell, so the top portion of it. I can get in the, the top portion, it looks like. The vent garden feeds on thermophilic bacteria and other microorganisms that spew from the vent below. The top of the bell also has an opening that continuously releases water to maintain a consistent internal pressure. Symbiotic relationship. The bell houses six branching platforms that resemble coral. These platforms contain aquatic flora that remains safe from foraging herbivores, herbivorous fish. In turn, the flora absorb and synthesize some of the heavy metals and gases emitted by the vents below. Docile nutrient-rich harbors flora. Well, we need spiral plant clippings, which might be in here. I don't know where the big boy is at. He sounds kind of close. Ooh, he's real close. I'm just going to back away real slow like. Need to get in there. Why don't you just go over there and get eaten? Hmm? Why don't you just go get eaten by that guy? You're not helping me. I wonder if I can just push this guy over there. Here, have have some have some wonderful brute shark on me. He's already caught for you, good to go. He was all the way over there, up there, and now he's down here and being a real pain in the ass. Because I want to get in over here. 
but he is right there. Excuse me. If you could go away... I didn't bring a, um... I guess if we need to get here again, it's, like, in line with the H architect body cache. But, um... Didn't bring a beacon, did I? Probably should have. I wonder if he's kind of backed off now so I can go over here. Not really. That says it's big enough for me to go in. Uh, he's definitely, like, right there. I, I don't like this. I'm not a fan. But it's hard to find that area. I really want to come... I really want to go in there now. I guess it's not that far away from our base. It's about 7,000... or 700 meters, 800 meters um, north, northwest. So that's going to be south, southeast. Use the prawn so I could try to. I don't know. I'm just. I'm gonna kind of like wait and see if he goes away, <laughs> and I'll go back in whenever he's further away. I don't want to deal with him. I doubt he'll do a ton of damage to my to my sea truck. Like he is massive compared to the brute shark, so like they don't do much damage to it. But man, he is really big compared to the brute sharks. All right, have you have you kind of wandered off now? Can I sort of make? I, I think he's gone away. I don't I don't see him anywhere. I think I'm just gonna try to make a break for it real quick. Warning. Maximum depth whoops. Hull damage imminent. whoops! 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 Okay, so this is the lowest we can go actually. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're just gonna, we're gonna look around a little bit more here. All I see are brute sharks. I want to go for it. It said I can fit through this. Maybe it's not over here. Maybe... Maybe it's... around the side somewhere. It said there was a big enough opening... in the bell to get through. Shove yourself through there, Robin. I don't know where it, where the opening is at, though. I can't just, like... No, it doesn't work. Excuse me. I'd like to come in. Where is the front door? didn't look like you'd go in from the bottom. Is that what they want me to do? Oh god, this looks like it's correct, actually. Oh god, it is. Oh, that's disturbing as hell. Well, we're safe in here. Spiral plant clippings? That's red wart. I've seen those before. At least we ought to be safe in here. Oh, that's, that's gotta be a spiral cl plant clipping. It's got Yes, that's it. Okay, cool. This is what we need. Okay. I can grow, like, all those that I want to now. That is the main resource. Um, I'm a little bit low on air here. So I am going to get the hell out. We'll come back in in a second. Is this where I came in at? Yeah, over here. Boy, that's a disturbing feeling going through there. Okay, where is my sea truck at? Up above here. Oh god, we're a little bit pushing it here. On the time. Six, come on, 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 come on. Where the fuck? There, oh. Oh man, that was actually kind of a bit close. Um, I want to go back in for a second. And see... Before, though, let me reposition my sea truck since we can't. There's like a big old cave over here, too, isn't there? 
I'm gonna position myself so I'm a bit more easy to... Okay, not quite that low, I just don't trust the game. That should be good. A bit easier to get in and out. It takes a while to get down through here and get in there and then get back out again. It's quite deep. But I think that that's what we need for um, going deeper with the sea truck, right? Oh, come on. Really? You getting stuck right there? There we go. Yeah, it's disturbing. It's like, it's like going intentionally up inside of an octopus. It's just really, really disturbing. That may be the only thing that's here. Now, I'm pretty sure I can grow these, but in case I can't, I'm just going to take a whole bunch. But I'm pretty sure I can, just, I can just grow those back at home. And then, or maybe you can't, though. I don't know. I mean, because it said that it... I don't know. Maybe I should just take all of them while I'm here. Okay, that's that's all we have room for. Oh, uh, wait... Redwort seeds? I don't want redwort. Well, maybe I do. I'll take one. Must have got those in an accident. I don't these grow back, too. I don't know. It's gotta be enough, right? For, like, forever? There are more here if I need more. Um... Is that everything? 50 seconds left. This has got to be, like, enough, I guess. Got to be good with this. All right, let's get out of here. It's really cool going through here, but it's also really disturbing at the same time. All right. Still plenty of time. 20 seconds. We're good. I definitely should have brought a beacon put over here as well. Brother, okay. I have something important to share. Another artifact. Yes, although... You cannot know for sure what it is, but it is certainly of significant import. I know. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So sassy, Robin. So sassy. All right, well, let's go back home and plant these things, and hopefully we can just have as many as we want, but maybe not. Maybe they'll get... Maybe they can't be grown outside of that thing because um, it requires... Like, it requires uh, the thermal garden thing. Yeah, maybe it requires that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to go pick up my uh, module here. And then we'll go back home. We'll plant some spiral plant clippings, hopefully, and then use the remaining ones we, if we can. If we can't, then we'll just use them all, I guess. But I did get a lot of them, which is good. All right, so maybe the proper way of doing this is to pilot this thing. Just Okay, well, it you know, it didn't work last time properly, guys, but it did this time really easily, so I don't know what the deal is with that, but... You know, it's fine. It's fine. So we're going back home to Penn Island base. And our piranha shoot. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna make some stuff. Alright, here we are, home sweet home. Um, this is... Yeah, this is the right side. That's fine. I wanna park out here as opposed to on the other side. Welcome aboard, Captain. Actually, before I even go in here, let me check to see if I can plant anything over here or not. Huh, why is this, um, acting like it's... Huh. Did it take damage or something? Maybe something, something hit it or something? I don't know. It was, like, not fully constructed, even though... That's kind of weird. All right, um, I'm gonna take a few gel sacks, I guess. Don't necessarily need all those, so let me see. Can I do this? Looks like I can. Yeah, looks like I can make a spiral plant here, so that's great. We can just do that, and um, I don't need all these ribbon plants for sure either, so... Seek fluid intake. 
Okay, so that should be good. Then the rest then we can use for the purposes that we need them for. And yes, Mom, I know we're hungry and thirsty. We're going to take care of that in a second. Don't you worry. We need gel sacs, spiral plants, and oh, I have red wart too. I don't think there's any purpose in having red wart out here, but, you know, I guess it'll look pretty or something. Maybe it's useful later on. Not really sure. Might be like the the enzyme thing where you need to collect a whole bunch of, of stuff. But red wart's really common. It'd be surprising if that was a uh, ingredient for some kind of thing we have to craft for the architect's body or something. But you never know. We got lots of space up there. Might as well. Doesn't hurt anything. All right. So uh, titanium. Gold. Lithium. Those we're going to keep in our inventory for now. We're going to eat a whole bunch of uh, shrub nuts. Vital signs stabilizing. I need something that has more water content in these things. Horseshoe shrub is what they're called. That's right. I mean, that works. Like, it certainly is fine. Like, these grow fast enough that I'll be able to just do that again the next time I need to get water, but it's not ideal. It takes a long time. Plus, Robin's going to gain a lot of weight because she's eating so much food in order to get enough water. I tell you guys, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. Okay, so what are the things we need to make? We need the spiral plant clippings for. Um, advanced materials, right? Yeah, aerogel is ruby and gel sac. Synthetic fibers is ruby and spiral plant clippings. And then that was used for what? Ooh, headlamp. I can... Ooh, ion battery. Can I make ion batteries now? No, I just got regular batteries. I might have to just find those for now. I don't know. Don't have the recipe for that yet, so, um... It's unfortunate, but oh well, it's fine. Could make a thermos, too. I think this is probably better. Uh, I can put water in here, maybe? And it has, like, more storage per slot than the uh, regular wire does makes it reusable. Though, the nice other wire is nice because you can just use it and get rid of it then when you're done. Like, it doesn't take up space after you drink it, you know? Do I have a laser cutter? I think I do. Yeah, I do. I have one already. Made one of those. Um, so what the, he what the hell was I trying to make that I needed those for? It probably was, um... Okay. Depth module mark one for the prawn suit. What about this? Uh, depth upgrade mark one for this too. That's all I have is there were more though, right? I think I already have depth module mark one on the C truck. Um, would it be over here that I could? Uh, where's the thing at? Yeah, over here, the fabricator module. Maybe you have to make it on the mobile vehicle bay? But that wouldn't make sense. And I've already got the jump jet, right? So... Um, was it just be the depth module for this thing? I mean, it'd be nice if I could go deeper. But I kind of want to be able to carry this thing around with me, you know? Hmm. So, enamel glass, three rubies, and synthetic fibers. There was something else, though, I'm almost positive. Let me go up top real quick and check the, um... The mobile vehicle bay here and see what the upgrades are that I have available. Or if there are upgrades available. There might not be. It's actually a nice day out for once. It's amazing. Now this is all... That's not it. Oh, was it here? Here we go, right? The modification station. Yes, the modification station. Okay, so th synthetic fibers. Right, sea truck upgrade is over here. Got it. And this one we need Nickelore and Kynite for, which we're probably not going to find those for a while, I'd assume. 
Um, so we should do the prawn suit and sea truck depth. Okay, pin that one. And that we can't do. But the prawn suit one we can. Okay. So, oh, an enamel glass. Well, no, enamel glass is fine. We just need, um, oh, quartz. Well, glass plus diamonds, right? Is it two diamonds or one diamond? And lead. One glass, one diamond, one lead. Okay. Okay, glass, diamond, lead. Need two enamel glass. Genetic fibers is just rubies, so I need two plant clippings, two rubies, and then five additional rubies. Okay, two plant clippings, two rubies. So seven rubies and two plant clippings. Okay. And that ought to be it. Then we just need the, the depth module for the prawn suit. Need to take, or no, the, the, um, this doesn't have a depth module in it, right? Right, just has the jump jet upgrade, which I got for free, thankfully, because it'd be a real pain to make if we didn't have that. Get that for free down in the, um, mining site. So I need, uh, the sea truck. Which, we're not that deep. Yeah, we're only 56 meters here, so we can take this out, no problem. I'm going to take the um, power cell out, too. Pull that real quick. Yeah, 150 meters, that's fine. It's going to be fine there. Oh, right over here. Duh. Or, well, yeah, over here. Well, no. Over here first. There's my modification station. I lost my modification station for a second. All right, so there's, oh, synthetic fibers. Right, that's what I need to make, synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers. Two of them. I need the arrow gel for something too, but I, for the life of me, I can't remember what it was. So there's the sea truck Mark II. Okay, we have one of those. And the prawn suit, Mark One. I. I don't already, yeah, I don't already have that. That's correct. This will probably go to like maybe 500 or so with that. Maybe more, I don't know, I guess we'll see. Seven hundred meters, very nice, very nice. Go pretty deep with that then. So, okay, so there's that, and then, uh, whoops, don't fall off or up. Oh, well, whatever, just get in there. Let's check the, uh, so I need to recharge this thing too. I need to recharge all my batteries, actually. Especially this one. Uh, the rest should be okay, probably, for now. Wait, it's not in here, it's outside I need to go to. There we go. Okay, oh wow, 650 for the first one. That's great. That's really fantastic. Um, so we're, we're good to go. We can go quite deep now. Go ahead and repair this thing while we're here as well. These look like they're both in good shape. That's fine. I don't think my prawn suit took any damage at all. No, I think we're good. Uh, right? Yeah, we're 100% full and it's fully charged as well. So one nice thing about the uh, docking bay for the prawn suit is that you can just pop that bad boy in there and... Uh, it charges itself. I don't think that works. I don't think you can put the sea truck in the moon pool. Maybe you can. 
I don't know, never, never tried. I guess I could have multiple moon pools. Would that be worth it? Have multiple moon pools just, just for the convenience of parking my sea truck and my prawn suit in there so I can charge it? Ideally, eventually, we'll find a moon pool that has... Or we'll find a... Uh, some kind of docking bay for the sea truck so we can park our prawn suit in the sea truck, but I don't know if that's a thing or not, guys. I don't know if that's a thing. So, all right, guys. Well, we got some good progress done this episode. I'm going to go ahead and unpin all of these things here. Got some good progress done. Um, I could have sworn there was some other stuff we need to make. I, could, I can't remember right now for the life of me, but whatever, I'll figure it out. And, uh, yeah, we will uh, go do some more exploring the next episode because now we can go really deep. So... Should be interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.